Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the header, the topic section, the info section and the blog section. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design this uh, testimonial section and also the footer. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is we will add the background color. So let's create a rectangle for that and uh, let's stretch it across the width of the frame and let's also increase the height and let's add a background color of this color right here so let's select fill and let's choose this color right here right now the first thing we need to have is this heading which says what our students say so for the heading we already have a component so let's go to assets and let's drag this component over here and from the left, I will have a space of 128 pixels. And from the top, we will have a space of 80 pixels. And let me just increase the width of this element. Right now, let's change the heading to what our students say. And now we need to have an image for the student and we have the name and then we have the comment. So let's create a rectangle and uh, let's give it a height and width of 100 pixels. And we'll also add a border radius of 10 pixels and from the left we will have a gap of 128 pixels and from the top we will have a gap of 50 pixels and now you need to add the image of the student now you can go over here to fill and go to image and add the image from here but i will use uh, this plugin called unsplash so let's right click over here and go to plugins and go to unsplash and let's search for person And let's just select this one right here. And after that, we need to have the name. So let's create a text element. And uh, let's type the name Peter Adams. And let's set the font size to 20 pixels. And uh, let's set the font to Allegria. And let's set the font weight to bold. And let's bring it to the top and align it with this image. And we will have a gap of 20 pixels or let's try 16 pixels and then we need to have the comment or the review so here we have one more text you can just duplicate this over here and let's add this text right here so i'll just copy this text from here and let's paste it over here and for this i just set the font weight to regular and let's set the font size to 16 pixels so that's it with the first testimonial and let's select these three elements from here and let's make it a group so let's press ctrl g and let's type testimonial or we'll just type testimonial one let's add a fixed width for this review text so let's double click over here so let's set it to auto height and let's set the width to let's try 264 pixels and now just copy this group and paste it on the right side and uh, let's also paste it once more right now let's change the details so for the second one let's go ahead and change uh, the image so i just right click over here and go to plugins and unsplash and let's type person and let's select this image right here and uh, let's change the name to robert fox And now let's add the text right now let's go to the next group and let's select the image so let's right click over here and go to plugins and click on unsplash and let's type person and uh, let's select this one right here and let's change the name and let's change the text All right now here we can see we have these three testimonials now let's go ahead and uh, bring it to the right so we will have a gap of 128 pixels from the right so i'll just move it to the right right now we need to space them correctly so let's select all these groups and let's go over here to this button and let's click on tidy up and now we can see every element has the correct spacing now let's also decrease the width of this rectangle and we need to have a gap of 80 pixels from the bottom right now we have 80 pixels at the bottom and that's it with the testimonial section now let's go ahead and design the footer so let's create a rectangle for that 
Before that, let's go ahead and group all of this. So let's select all of these and uh, let's press Ctrl G or Command G. And uh, I'll just change the name to testimonials. Right now, let's create a rectangle and uh, let's increase the width and the height. And let's change the color to black. Now, the first thing we need to have over here is the logo. So let's copy the logo from here. I'll just double click over here and let's press Command G. And here, let's press Command V. And let's bring it over here to the top. And from the left, we will have a gap of 128 pixels. Now for the footer, we will have less padding at the top and the bottom. So let's set a gap of 40 pixels from the top. And below the logo, we have these icons of Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And for the icons, we will use a plugin called Iconify. So let's right click over here and uh, let's go to plugins and click on Iconify. And let's search for Facebook. And let's select this icon and uh, let's click on import icon. And the Facebook icon has been imported. And we also need to get the icons of Twitter and Instagram as well. So let's tap Twitter. Let's get this icon right here. And let's drag this icon right here. And then lastly, we need to have Instagram. And uh, let's select this one right here. And let's drag it over here. Now for some of these icons, we have some padding at the sides. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let's just go ahead and select the vector and we'll just bring it outside this frame. So now we can see we have this uh, vector. Let's just delete this frame and let's do the same for the other icons as well. So for the Facebook, we have this vector. So let's bring it out here and let's delete this frame and uh, let's search for Twitter. Twitter is right here. And for Twitter, we don't have any outer frame. So now let's go ahead and uh, bring it over here inside the footer. And we also need to change the size. So let's select constraint proportions and let's set the height and the width to 32 pixels. And we'll do the same for Twitter and Instagram as well. Let's set the height and the width to 32 pixels. And uh, even for Twitter, Let's set the height and the width to 32 pixels. Now for these icons, we also need to have different colors. So let's go ahead and choose the colors. So for Facebook, let's add the color of Facebook. So here, instead of this black color, let's change the color code to 4267B2. And let's change the color of Twitter. And for Twitter, we have a hex code of 1DA1F2. And then lastly for Instagram, let's change the color to E1306C and let's bring it over here. And uh, I think the Twitter icon is outside our frame. So let's bring it inside the desktop frame. Let's also change the names. So this is Instagram and uh, this is Facebook. We need to bring it outside this frame. And uh, let's change the name to Facebook logo. And let's select this and uh, let's change the name to Twitter logo. And now between these, we will have a gap of 16 pixels. And let's select these three and let's group it. And let's tap social icons. Right now, let's bring it over here inside the footer. And uh, we will have a spacing of 36 pixels and after that we need to have this text over here so let's create a text element and let's add the text over here and let's change the text to Allegria and let's change the font weight to regular right now the next thing we need to have are these links so let's copy this text over here let's press option or alt and drag it over here and let's type quick links and let's change the font weight to bold let's change the font size to 18 pixels and let's also change the color so let's select this uh, pinkish color over here and now let's copy this once more over here and we have these two links blog and privacy policy so let's type blog and let me just duplicate this and bring it down here 
and I will just change the text to privacy policy and uh, let's select both of these and uh, let's bring it up a little bit all right that's it with the quick links so let's select all of these and uh, let's make it a group and now let's duplicate this and bring it over here and for this we have contact us so let's type contact us and let's add these details over here and we'll also have a gap of 50 pixels from the top so let's bring it up a little bit now let's bring this last group over here to the right and we'll have a gap of 128 pixels from the right all right now let's space all of this correctly so let's select these elements let's make it a group and let's select all of these elements over here and let's click on this button and let's click on tidy up and that looks all right i think we can bring this down a little bit all right that's basically it with the footer now let's go ahead and decrease the height and we'll have a gap of 50 pixels all right that's it with the footer now let's select all of this and let's make it a group and i'll just name it footer and let's select this frame so you can just press command or control and click over here and uh, let's decrease the height and here we can see when we decrease the height we have the social media icons moving up so let's fix that let's go over here and let's click on this and let's click on constraints let's select left and top All right now let's decrease the height of this frame and that's it with our desktop version so this is how it looks we have all these sections designed over here all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will make it responsive so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank you.